Hey everyone, Rudy Brixa here with MTGCardMarket.com coming with you with one of my favorite kind of videos uh, and this is going to be a vintage cube draft. Now, people that know me definitely know that I love me some cubes so I'm pretty excited about this and vintage cube is definitely a little more broken than I like but still kind of fun and uh, pretty pretty much looking forward to this. Hope we open up some bombs. Of course, everything's bomb, so it's hard. Uh... We did not. We opened no bomb, which is pretty impressive, right? You know, when you when you think about Vintage Cube, you think about opening up all this broken stuff, but kind of kind of really didn't open up anything here. Um, let's see. So, Qual Ritual is pretty reasonable uh, if we want to jump right into Storm. Uh, Treasure Cruise is super powerful. Uh, Mary Angel's okay. Finks is okay. Archangel's okay. Uh, the lands are okay. Signet's also fine. Like, I don't fault anybody if they like taking a bunch of Signet's early. Uh, I don't really want to force Storm <laughs> off the bat. Um, although I'm sure if I don't take a ball ritual, all of the Storm cards will be best to me. And I'll look like quite the fool. Especially with Basalt Monmouth and Orzhov Signet. But I think I'm just going to... Uh, I think I'm just going to take the Signet here. I guess, and uh, go from there, because Signet at least leaves me, you know, pretty open to just do everything I want to do, but uh, Basalt Monolith or Zob Signet Cabal Ritual could, you know, could definitely, could definitely lead me to Storm, but I think I'm just going to take the Signet, hope I don't fall into Storm and, and regret not taking the Cabal Ritual. Alright, feel pretty okay about not taking it, since there's no real Storm cards here. Hmm. Leovold is pretty powerful. Mystic Confluence is also really good. Gideon's pretty good as well. Uh, but I think we're going to take Leovold because I think Leovold is just the most powerful card in this pack. And uh, has a lot of a lot of good things going on for it. So I think, I think I'm going to take Leovold. Leovold's a great card. Um, cards that we kind of wish to come back are like the Abrupt Decay, the Confluence, the Snake, uh, the Phyrexian Metamorph. Those are the cards that really want to come back. But I think we're just going to take Leovold for now. Hope one of those comes back. All right. Got some interesting picks here. Ulamog, Shriekmaw, uh, Gideon, Declaration Stone, Restoration Angel. All these cards are like, pretty good. Muldrifter is very good, so I think I'm going to be taking Muldrifter here. But it's important to take note, especially in Cube, like what cards are coming back. Uh, because this is Swiss, we're a lot less likely to see people kind of take cards that they don't want to play against and more likely to just take things to round out their decks. Uh, and I think I'm going to take Muldrifter here. Muldrifter is a pretty good card. Uh, it's obviously not really on the same power level as some of this other stuff, but it's still still pretty good. Play like a fair Sultai deck. Get this next pack eventually. Eventually. Good old waiting. Stop. I don't want to wait anymore. Send me your pack. All right, what do we got? Watery Graves, a nice one. Uh, Bloodstained Myers, an okay one. Brainstorms, an okay one. Huntmaster is an okay one. I think I'm going to take Watery Grave. Watery Grave plays into Muldrifter and Leovold here. Uh, Bloodstained Myers, also another card that I would want, but at this point, I think Watery Grave is just a tiny bit better uh, since we're likely not playing any red. And I am so excited to, to just jam a lot of cube. I unfortunately have a work later tonight. Otherwise, I'd probably just be playing cube all night. Just over and over and over again. This is probably my favorite thing to do. Alright, Kalidus is a nice one. Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine is really good. I'm probably going to be taking this here. Uh, Dreadboar is okay. Disc is okay. Garrick's okay. 
Uh, Kalidas can sometimes be really good. I like Dreadbore. Uh, potentially like Unus Prowler if we get like a mini reanimator theme, but I think I'm going to take Sword because I think Sword is objectively the most powerful card in this pack. Uh, I want to kind of get ahead of everybody else and then, you know, use this to, to keep far ahead. Uh, certain decks just also can't beat Swords. Uh, there's an Animate Dead uh, that I kind of don't mind taking. We could take Godless Shrine too and just keep ourselves open for like any powerful white cards. Been seeing some of those uh, as well. I think I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take the Shrine. Could also take Animate Dead, but I think Shrine might be a little bit better. Life Bane Zombie is also okay. Hmm. Might have convinced myself to take Animate Dead. Just in case we do go to a kind of like a sub reanimator theme, uh, Animate Dead is going to be a nice one, and Godless Shrine just seems eh. Alright, what do we got here? Crow Mox is not a bad one. Uh, could take Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Sphinx of the Steel Wind's good if we go into a combo deck. I uh, like the Arid Mace with the Soldier of the Pantheon skin. Uh, Shadow Mage Infiltrator is alright, but I think it's between Crow Mox. And Sphinx here. Noble Hierarch's also not terrible. Uh, plays well with all everything else we have going on. I uh, kind of just want to take Chromox. Chromox is just so powerful. Uh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that. Chromox is great. Gurmag Angler's pretty good. Trinket Mage is pretty good. I think we're gonna take Angler here. Uh, is there any reason to take Trinket Mage? Uh, I guess we get like a Lotus or a Mox, then it could be good, and we already have Chromox. Yeah, all right. Let's take Trinket Mage. What do we got here? Botanical Sanctum. I actually like a lot. Uh, pairs well with our Leovold. Uh, Dissenter's Deliverance is also not terrible. Uh, having main deck Artifact Hate is not bad, especially one that uh, one that cycles so well. I do kind of want this dual land instead. Hmm. All right, Mystic Snakes not terrible. I don't hate having that one. Shriek Ma I like a lot. Sidisi I like a lot. I think I'm going to take the Shriek Ma, though. Uh, it's too bad about CDC. CDC is very good, but I think I just want Shriek Ma. Song of the Dryads is a just good removal spell. It's going to take out pretty much any problem. And as long as our opponent doesn't have anything. All right, Kalidus is not a terrible card to come back to. Uh, Avalanche Rotors, I guess we'll we'll hate on. It's not really gonna really gonna do anything. Maybe if we decide that we're gonna play four colors, we could play some Riders and some Storm Breath Dragons. Now, what do we got? All right, uh, have some powerful cards here, but not not really anything that I could make use out of. This pack is very bad for me, uh, just in general. Although this pack does have some powerful cards, uh, I think I'm leaning towards taking Crucible and hoping that I could swing like Strip Mine at some point uh, if somebody hasn't already taken it. Factor Fiction is also really good uh, in this kind of deck. Some very likely leaning towards this. Crucible's okay. Uh, Academy could potentially be okay if we get a few more artifacts. Uh, we could just be powered up real easily. Bone Treader is also not terrible. I think I'm just going to take the uh, Factor Fiction and play like a really weak, <laughs> a really weak deck while everyone's trying to play these powerful decks. I'm like Factor Fiction during your end step. <laughs> Hope this is good. Uh, Worm Coil's not bad. Tezzeret's okay. Uh, Ophimancer, Polluted Delta, pretty light leading towards Polluted Delta or Ophiomancer here. Uh, Ophiomancer is pretty good with uh, just Death Touch, gives you a ton of time, but I think I like Polluted Delta here. Kind of helps fix my mana a little bit, and it looks like my mana might be a little rough, so I really don't mind taking that. Tassiger is like an okay card as well. All right, Crystal Brand, Bitter Blossom, Treachery. I think I'm taking Treachery here, but man, Crystal Brand, Bitter Blossom right here. A bunch of Signets, Ancient Tomb, some some real powerful cards in this pack. Uh, obviously, kind of want to take Crystal Brand since it you know could work so well with my Animate Dead, but Treachery is just so incredibly powerful that I think I want to take that and, and be sad when I don't wheel this Bitter Blossom.
All right. Wow, and the buried alive. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. I think I'm going to take this pernicious deed. Collect brutality is okay. Uh, deed's you know, pretty good in general. Brutality is actually insane. Oh, man, yeah, I'm kind of kind of wishing I took that Gristle Brand. Gristle Brand, steal this Buried Alive, and be in a good spot. But I think I'm just going to take... Eh, I guess I'll just take Brutality. Brutality is still pretty good. And if I do get some powerful creatures I want to rebuy, I can I can nab it. Thrag Tusk is also not bad. All right. Recurring Nightmare, Ultimate Price, Cataxian Probe. Yeah, definitely, definitely leaning on a, a lot of powerful stuff. I think I'm going to take Nightmare here uh, because Nightmare on Shriekma is uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, Shriekma Ball Drifter, also pretty good. Hope to wheel this Ultimate Price, although very unlikely. Now let's see if we can get some some powerful, powerful creatures. Fortunately, the best one is already gone. That's Gristlebrand. It's definitely not coming back. If we can get some good value creatures, might be in a good spot. Uh, I think I'm going to take Diabolic Edict here. Uh, Sword of Body and Mind is also really good. Ooh. Now that I've noticed that, I'm doing a lot of... Uh, there are just so many powerful cards that sometimes, like... You're just so used to like see something. You're like, oh, I'll take this. I need it. And then you look and you're like, oh, there's more powerful cards. I'm gonna take the sort of body and mind over diabolic edict. Uh, although I think it's, I think it's maybe close depending on how my deck ends up being built out. Don't really have a ton of removal right now, but swords are obviously insane. And uh, we have some creatures with evasion, so that'll be pretty good. We'll see what these these fools are bringing. Poor Draxton holding me up right here. All I want to do is build my my terrible pile of you know Sultai mid range cards, and they're just not letting me. All right, Commit to Memory, Duress, Balance, Oath of Druids. Man, these are some powerful cards. I'm going to take Duress. Uh, I think Duress is going to be a little bit better than Commit to Memory, uh, especially since everyone's playing really powerful cards. But Duress is like fine hate in your main deck. Uh, Brain Maggot's not terrible. Uh, could take Verterous Gear Hulk actually though. I think I'm leaning towards Gear Hulk because I have Recurring Nightmare and Animate Dead. So each and every turn, just like building your creatures up and just like making a bunch of like huge creatures could be pretty reasonable. So I'm going to take that. Bone Shredder goes well with our Recurring Nightmare plan. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Although I own is obviously not a bad one. A real only way to get in the graveyard currently is to draw it and naturally discard it or flip it off of Factor Fiction or Collective Brutality. And that's not where I really want to be. It's not where I want to be at all. All right, Ophiomancer's a good one. Pretty locked up on our threes now. Uh, so we want to try to fill out some of this curve, although if we get a few... Uh, oh, wow, and Gristlebrand came back. That is, that is not what I expected <laughs> at all. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely, definitely playing that one. Uh, have a couple different ways to put it into play. So this deck's actually kind of coming out pretty interesting here. I'm not sure if we're going to play Song of the Dryads, that's for sure, but definitely have some good stuff going on. All right, and Buried Alive, wow. All right, well, I'm going to take the Buried Alive... I guess I'll take this Concealed Courtyard. Take Mutavolt, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
All right, and last pick, Lava Claw Reaches. Not really doing much for me, but this is not this is not a bad pile, and things have kind of like come together. Uh, kind of missing on some green splash uh, for Mystic Snakes, Inverter Scare Hulks, and such. But uh, I think I think that can all come together. Ooh, Library of Alexandria is a good one, and of course, of course, of course, the strip mine after. After everything else, but I'm gonna take library. Library here is, uh, I think, the most objectively powerful card for our deck. Counterspell's good. Edric's good. Gush is good. Tarn's good. Uh, but obviously, after we pass Crucible, we open Strip Mine. Otherwise, otherwise, I think I would actually take Strip Mine over Library here if we had Crucible. But I'm gonna take Library because Library's super powerful. And we still might just end up green, uh, blue, black, and I could just cut some of these green cards. Maybe play a Forest for Leovold, basically. We got here Exhum, Duplicant, Hero's Downfall, Gifts Ungiven. Gifts Ungiven is a pretty interesting one, that's for sure. Exhum's not bad if we can Entomb. I think I might want a duplicate here, though. Uh, just another, like, big creature that's also going to be pretty good at just uh, on its own. So I think I might take that. Fire and Ice is okay, but we already have a couple of swords and not a ton of creatures. Here's Downfall's very good, for sure. Uh, do kind of need more removal. Duplicate kind of counts as removal, so I'm going to take duplicate here. I think the only non-castable creature I would take here, ooh, reanimate's not a bad one, is uh, Elishnorn. Elishnorn's a card that I would not lo not hate to have. Uh, reanimate here is pretty reasonable. Uh, Thoughtseize is also really good. I think we might have enough things going on that I want to take Thoughtseize. Sower's also pretty solid, uh, for sure. Uh, so I think I'm going to take Thought Season, Hope Reanimate Wheels. Uh, would also not hate having Mere Battlesphere back. Well, I think we just need some way to protect ourselves. Um, we just don't really have any right now. I think I like Maelstrom Pulse here. It's just another removal spell, and I don't mind having that. Corpse Dance is like pretty medium. Uh, Grim Tutor is fine, not great. It's pretty expensive. So I think I'm just going to take the Pulse. Well, it's just a good, solid card that deals with everything we need it to. Uh, Massacre Worm is pretty good. Liliana Death's Majesty is actually pretty insane for our deck here. So I think I'm going to take Liliana and hope we wheel the Shores of the Lubbered Falls. Massacre Worm is good, but I think Liliana might just be better overall since it protects us, it's a Wrath, and it's also like another reanimation spell. I think, I think I'm pretty happy with Liliana here. It's not a bad pickup. Yeah, but it's looking more and more like I'm pretty sure this deck is just going to be a blue-black deck. Uh, this pack is not doing anything for me. Necromancy, I guess, is okay, but I don't think we need... We have, uh, what, one, two removal... Or three reanimation spells already. I think I'm just going to take Hangerback Walker, because Hangerback Walk Walker lets me live the longest. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to take that. You know, I think we just might have a very light splash for some of these cards. Yeah, this deck's, this deck's not terrible. It's a, a little a little bit farther away from what I really want it to be, but uh, kind of prioritize spells over lands, and I think that kind of punished me just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Would love to have Botanical Sanctum in this deck. All right, Tim, Tim Nation, Torrential Gear Hole, Kissing Quagmire, Eternal Witness, Pithy Needle. Yeah, we went from a pack with basically no cards in it to a pack with. A lot of cards that are necessary. I think I'm going to take Damnation. Uh, I think Damnation is just the safest pick here, uh, and I don't mind being blue-black. Pretty sad about passing on Hissing Quagmire. Um, 
but I just kind of want a ton of removal. Hissy Quagmire is obviously great in this deck, though, but I think we kind of need the Damnation. Though I do like the combination of Gear Hulk and Hangerback Walker, but I just don't think it's gonna it's gonna do much for me. All right, what do we got here? A lot of cards that I cannot use. I think I might take the Revelation here though because I have the Signet. <laughs> Maybe we'll board it in a Control Mirror or something. Uh, Terastodon, nasty Terasty. Could be another good, reasonable reanimation target. So I think I'm going to take that. I think we're just likely playing blue-black here. Just not playing any of these green cards. I think I'm okay with that, too. All right, what do we got? Here's Downfall came back. I do like that. That's going to actually be pretty good here. I'm pretty happy to have that. Force Spike's also really good, but again, I really just want a bunch of removal because I feel like our late game is going to be pretty solid against most decks. Sower is not a bad pickup. Nature's Claim's a fine sideboard card. Ley line of Sanctity. All right, well, I'm going to take that on the off chance that we spike. Jeez, and Torrential Gear Hole came back, although I can't really make use out of it, unfortunately. All right. All right, what do we got here? I think we're mostly fine with how this is built. Uh... Add some basic, some basic lands because I like some basic lands. Uh, we don't need any forest for our Terracidon. All right, uh, it's probably not enough mana sources. Probably want like one more. I'm basically playing fifteen and a half lands with the Signet. Stupid Vintage Cube didn't give me any mocks. How unlucky am I to not get any mocks? And I do have Trinket Mage. Trinket Mage only finds Chrome mocks, so I'm not thrilled with it. So I think I'm just going to cut that and just play another land. All right. So we'll play this. Uh, basically, 15 land and, and two half mana sources. So that's like. Probably about 16, which is fine. So I'll be back in just a little bit. We'll play some matches. See how far I can get in this league where everyone else is going to be playing, you know, 